I'm recording, man. I'm just letting you know that. And I'm not adding in none of this out. You talking about the first episode? I ain't editing nothing out. You don't talk to me like that. Let's just get this over with. Yeah, I've been ready. Told you that. Yeah, sure. What? <sighs> press the button. Press the goddamn button. Come on, the mic can hear you. Talking too damn loud. You press the record thing? Is it recording? No. <laughs> don't hit me with the the no. I don't, don't. Where are you? Boy, man. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right, man. Since the last part, my son is now in a cast and back in school. <laughs> I wonder. I, w- I actually wonder how I wrote on his cast. Right, I said, "Daddy loves you." Right, and then I signed my signature on the cast. <laughs> I don't care, but I want my man to know that his daddy loves him. <laughs> and it ain't nothing he can do about it And that's okay That's really okay It ain't nothing he can do about it Man we had a good week in the gym this week And um I got We back with another good episode man I hope y'all enjoyed this episode As much as you enjoyed the last episode Cause I enjoyed it But like you know this episode We also gonna, we also gonna pack fitness related topics man Um We're going to try to keep this episode real short and sweet and get to the point. But as always, got to start the podcast with some vibes. It's just right. The last word she said to me. Now I'm wishing she was still here with me. And that day's here. We may gotta shed tears. Right? You never miss a good thing till it leaves you. But finally, you realize that I need you. I want you back. Baby girl, I need you back. I gotta have you back, baby. Heartbroken when you left my world. Welcome to episode 4 of MTMJ Fit Podcast. Well, this podcast is built off of motivation, inspiration, and positivity, man. We're just motivating people to be better in their life, man. So, welcome to episode four. Make sure you subscribe to YouTube. Subscribe to YouTube. Make sure you rate and review on Apple Podcasts, especially on Apple Podcasts, man. It helps us. Helps the podcast out, man. Thank you for your support, though. Appreciate it. Find some vibes, man. I hope y'all enjoying the, the, the start of the music, man. The vibes is right. Always, we gotta set the mood before we get inside unpacking my thoughts, man. It's always something new on this podcast, so vibe with me. This is not the place for all this 
Is there a reason why you're saying all this? And can we talk about it later? I've got to right my wrongs With you is where I belong You've been down from the go Recognition's what you want And it's something that I should know Something that I should know uh, All the things that you went through Girl, I never meant to Could you do it twice? No Tell me, how can I right my wrongs? That's something that I should know All the things that we've been through Look, bro, I told you that that girl ain't oh, vibing, man Vibing strong, man Hope you ready for me to impact What I'm about to impact These are, hey, look This I went through it, man And I, in my mind I mentally had something to really give to y'all, man I hope y'all really um, accept this The way I'm gonna present it to you Nothing but positive vibes, man That's a phone number That girl a problem That shit like a mama Always in some drama But then y'all got a daughter I know this shit ain't easy, just Take it from me, dawg Just cut your losses That's why you fucking cut them off before they stalk us Now that you really wanna leave and shake her off She gon' chase all your new bitches off Cause girls like that, they be nothing but trouble Girls like that, they be up to no good Girls like that, always up in the club Been with some girls like that, probably more than I should Well, welcome back to episode 4 MTMJ Fit Podcast, man I am your host, I am your motivator, I am your personal trainer Um, Make sure you subscribe to YouTube um, for visual content of this podcast to see how I'm vibing, man. Um, make sure you listen on Apple Podcasts and rate and review the podcast. Please rate and review the podcast, man. Hey, look, either po- negative or positive, man. It just helps me get better, right? Make sure you also go on to Instagram at underscore M the motivator J underscore fitness on Instagram. I finally got it right without no mistakes. <laughs> Cause your boy been messing up. So this week, right? Like last week I had 10 questions. This week I got a couple of topics and we're gonna uh we're gonna get through them. And I'm just like listen, when I was going through these things, it's all personal experiences and I'm hoping that I can motivate you to take some of my personal experiences and put them into action for yourself. So the first joint is, why is it important to have a regular exercise schedule? So look, like me, I'm sure everybody's working, you know, maybe 200 days out of the year. And that's just that's just being lightly. In some cases, somebody is working 365 days out of the year. But I think um, you're not working 24 hours a day, right? So the importance of fitness is it allows you to be able to uh, impact that um work that you put in a gym to allow yourself to really be focused on your day and allow you to be more productive during your day i think working out and making fitness making fitness a part of your lifestyle right um allows you to shoot number one make more money because you're 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 spending less time being one sick two being in the hospital three having bad health four uh having uh physical ailments and five just um mo mo mobilable can it mobilable is not a word so having like traits in your family that are, uh could cause you to you know have more harm on your body and that's just my personal experience for me working out became more important for me because it, it it took some stress off my life right because i think during the day in work we encounter a lot of individuals that you know maybe don't feel the same way as we do like positivity is everything i think protecting your peace is everything right and what fitness gives you is that mental capability of protecting your peace that's why fitness is important to add to your lifestyle um why is it important to complete a variety of exercise when working out i mean look 
So I, I, I can't tell you why that should be important to you. I'm going to tell you why it's important to me. Um, one of the things I try to do when I go in the gym, I either freestyle it, but freestyling for me is mentally I don't already plan my workout for th- th- three or four days before I actually do them. So like and sometimes I go in the gym, I might want to work on biceps. And you sit in the bathroom sometimes and you look at yourself and you kind of try to find out where can I improve. So the variety of workouts is important because of that. It's improvements, man. You got to do a variety. You can't go in and do the same thing all the time and expect new results. You do the same thing, you get the same results. How to make time for workouts when you don't have any time. So that comes with repetition. And it's just as simple as that. You know, you um, sometimes you can go in the gym and be done in 30 minutes and you feel great. And then sometimes you can go in the gym and um, be done in an hour and you don't feel as great. Um, I heard somebody say this. As, I, mean, I heard a celebrity say it. It doesn't take no more than 30 minutes to work out. That is true for the most experienced work. I mean, gym goer. But for folks that's just trying to work their, work their way up to the gym and learn learn that, my, my advice to you is make it happen, man. It it doesn't take long to really go into the gym and get a good workout in. You just have to monitor your your uh, heart rate, right, so you don't pass out in the gym. Okay, we got another one for you, man. How to make working out a habit, right? Um, it's, <laughs> habits are something that sometimes can be iffy, if that makes sense, right? Building healthy sustainable habits is finding the things that work for you so if working out monday and tuesday and those are the only two days you have time to do it makes you consistently work out on monday and tuesday right you build that then you're then you start playing with your mind and your mind recognizes that i need to get my workout in today and tomorrow which is monday and tuesday so building those healthy habits is all about repetition Okay, so here's a good thing, man, because I was talking to a, a ex coworker about this not too long ago. Um, workouts for stay at home moms. Um, there are a lot of utensils in your house that you can utilize to work out. There's also a lot of places you can go and buy dumbbells. Um, you can do jumping jacks. You can do sit and reaches. You can do, you know, you, you can buy, you can do curls. You can do a, a variety of workouts, and you can do a lot of tons of workouts. That involve body weight. When I say body weight, you want to pick workouts that constantly keep that heart rate elevated, which is your push-ups, um, your uh, your squats. I don't know what it, the blood flow in the legs, right? When doing squats, when you're doing the reps and you're doing it properly, it kind of brings that heart rate up consistently and keeps it in a way where you feel where you're really burning off some body fat. And jumping jacks, man, those are the things that stay at home moms are staying on parents. And if you're a little enable and un and mobile, you know, find ways to kind of work, you know, keep the things that are mobile active, whether it's your arms. If your arms aren't active, make sure you're doing like just just do something to stay consistent and just being move I mean just moving, man. Um what are the best workouts to do in the least amount of time? In my experience, the best workouts to do in the least amount of time is your core workouts. It's just that simple. Um, how to start working out for beginners. Um, now, that's one of the things you got to do. I think um, my message to anybody that's beginning to work out, if you can't lift your own body up, that's what you need to spend time doing before you go in the gym and try to just go beast mode, Right. Because doing that, you can hurt yourself. How to stay fit when traveling. Look, you have to make that a priority, right? There's healthy choices. The same habits that you that that you, uh, the same habits that you allow, that you um, um, frequently do at home or consistently do at home, you need to make sure you're keeping those same healthy habits with you when you're on your travels, right? Because going anywhere, you can find a gym depending on what your gym is. But for the most part, these gyms that are your high-class gyms are worldwide, so you can always find some ways to stay consistent on your on your fit life. Easy workouts that can be done during your lunch break. Taking a walk around the block, squats, 
push ups, core work, um, home workouts that can be done while the kids are napping, squats, mountain climbers, jumping jacks, uh, push ups, core work, core work. Um, uh, okay. How fitness helps with mental health. Now, this is a big one because one of the things I noticed when I wasn't really working out it as much, I was angry a lot, right? And when I and that also played a part of me being out of shape, unhealthy, not really taking care of my body, not um, eating as properly as I should, not getting as much rest. So one of the things I know about fitness is when you're doing it properly, it improves your rest, it improves your your mental health, it improves your lifestyle, it improves your ability to um, uh, let stuff brush off your shoulder, it, uh, it makes you more effective when dealing with people, it makes you a better communicator, it makes you a better lover for my men, you know, it improves your sex life, right? And it also gives you the ability to think clearly so you can make all the right decisions, right? This is important, man. How exercises can be a stress reliever, right? Listen, I am a married man. There's a lot of things as a married man that you have to, um, you have to just take it on the chin. And those times where you feel like Life may be testing you and you feel like you're being punched in the gut and you're taking too many punches on the chin. Throwing some weights around can be a way of relieving that stress and mentally taking your mind off of whatever is going on in the moment. Right. And I'm going to tell you something I had to learn this week just to end this podcast. And I'm talking to my brothers because I said I was going to specifically make this podcast about empowering my men, man, to be better men and to be more responsible, man. My wife came to me and she said something and she don't even know. Sometimes she say things and I pay attention to it. She says she's not my mate. And listen. I'm going to tell you why they hit a nerve for me. They hit a nerve for me because I never, ever, ever wanted to ever feel like I am um, putting more on her than she needs to bear, right? And I don't ever want to feel like I'm taking advantage of something. So um, men, and I talk about emotions and how women's emotions are a little bit different than our emotions. You have to understand when there's a cry for help, whether it's folding laundry whether it's going to the grocery store whether it's washing dishes whether it's being a better father whether it's um taking taking responsibility away from your significant other and allowing her to thrive another thing i have to responsibly make sure i'm doing is just being a housekeeper too I had to throw that joke out. <laughs> That's funny, man. So look, <laughs> as we end this podcast, man, I really, really, really appreciate all my supporters, man. New or old, I want to thank you for following me on Instagram at underscore M the motivator J underscore fitness. I want to thank my YouTube family for consistently staying around and watching these videos. I hope you see that I'm improving these videos and I'm taking some of the feedback and trying to make this podcast as good as I possibly can, man. I just went through 14 questions, man, and I just gave you a brief description of my experiences with each question, and I ended the podcast again with some, with, with some motivation for my men, man. Make sure, man, men, that you're being men, man, taking care of your family, taking care of your kids. And make sure you also taking care of yourself. I am your motivator. I am your personal trainer. Thank you for watching episode four. Happy Monday and happy Tuesday to my YouTube family. I appreciate everybody. Thank you.